Well, I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> y'all couldn't have picked a strange, well, a, a more opportune time to release this. Literally just a few days before Halloween, and in turn, about a week and a half before Election Day. Yeah. Sheesh. Timing. And I swear, I wish that, I wish that, you know, uh, had a little bit more of a heads up on that. Here's the thing, I'm subbed on their Patreon, and I know, like, they have, like, little things, but they literally said, oh yeah, update on the uh, election rap battle. We're going to be releasing it today. <laughs> like, what? But, oh. Of all the days, too, because, you know, had a bunch of stuff to do, had to go run and get mead for our D&D session tonight. Still got to get camera stuff set up there for the for the whole thing. I'm working on Halloween. Yeah, she's working on <laughs> Halloween. I'm trying to help her out with that as much as I can. Um, you can see the outside of our house. It literally looks like a friggin' amusement park attraction. I'm not it's joking. Cemetery. I'm not joking. It literally looks like... We literally look like the entrance to a haunted house. Like, we got a graveyard. We got two big old skellies. We got, uh, we got a witch with a big bubbling cauldron. We got tombstones all over the place we got black chains and our own personal fences we made and everything holy crap it's it's crazy stuff maybe we'll post a video of it i don't know i guess i guess y'all will just have to wait and see but uh enough of the chicanery involving uh involving epic rap battles of his or involving uh our halloween stuff epic rap battles of history put out this video Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. And here's the thing, I know what's going to happen because it's happened every single time we've done an election rap battle. The comment section just can't, like, can't control themselves and literally they turn it into a flame war down there. So here's what I'm going to say. Y'all behave yourselves. If you don't, then I'm just going to turn off comments. Okay? All right. <laughs> what? I'm being serious. I'm being serious. If it get, like, here's the thing. No matter what we say in this, and, and here's the thing. Before any of you all jump off the handle, just know this. I am, I have my leanings when it comes to politics. I lean conservative on some. I lean more liberal on others. But I'll be honest. I don't like either one of these candidates. I don't. And in all honesty, if I had to choose, I really don't know who, like, honestly, I'm probably not even going to vote because, like, it's just like what South Park said. You got a turd sandwich and a douche. What are you going to choose between? A turd sandwich and a douche. <laughs> like, what's it going to be? Well, yeah, no Did joke. they really make that? Yeah, analogy. it was literally. They, they had kids select, like, what they wanted to be the new mascot of their school, and it was between a turd sandwich and a giant douche. And literally, like, they had mascot things made. A, little, a literal turd sandwich dude came out. He's like, all right, everybody ready to party? It's like... But... No, I'm not joking. And then the giant douche came out. Was, uh, oh my god. <clears throat> but yeah, there is no winning with this outside of just like, you know, this will at least do numbers. And you know, at Lloyd and Peter, given the amount of the 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 amount of time I've been supporting them on Patreon, I mean, ever since they went independent, which I will happily do because because of them, our channel is where it's at. But anyway. I've ranted and raved enough. We got an ERB to get to. Are you ready, Kate? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Lloyd makes a good Trump. I don't care what anyone says. I've got the best word plays. Ask my supporters. I've got more disabilities than a New York Times reporter. You're a scam. Your whole nomination is a hoax. Your party is so pro choice. The aborted estates right to vote. The pencil pushing pussy bows. Think you get sick in prison? Get your mugshot and your mugshot. Then come talk to me about convictions. To the radical left, you should be embarrassed. The way you divide our country, I'll call you Camel Toe Harris. You're in place. <laughs> <laughs> While it's leaking worse than a wet lab in Wu. Oh, Americans for a 1k thriving. Stock markets higher than the planes full of migrants you fly in. And don't even try to deny the cognitive decline you were hiding. Prop it up, Joe, like it was Wigan and Biden. I'm here to teach you what losing to a winner feels like. Ask Pence. I know how to drop a mic. Damn. 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 Dam
close. You are JD Vance's fear and level weird. You are gross. You've been bending American decency over a barrel. Giving Lady Liberty the finger like these Legion Carol in that big Damn. TV house with our secret stacks and piles. From documents to pedos, you spend too much time with files. Having sleepovers mm. with Laura. Yeah. Laura what's going on with you? Can't you afford more than Timu Melania? <laughs> you failed in Ouch. your own city. Bank, ballot box, and court. You're home alone too. You lost in New York. I was there on That's January true. 6th and wasn't fun for me. Just like your bowels, I was evacuated suddenly. Ah, oh, you were history's least hopeful. Presidential hopeful. Mood swinging wildly like stock and truth social. I'm here to build bridges from Texas to Niagara Falls. Sh 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 my God, better wow. I hope you wrote that Damn. fucking crap in red because you're taking a huge loss. <laughs> Sending worse for you than Afghanistan did for your boss. Man, Ow. You everything you ever did. Damn. You couldn't make your own way. Couldn't even make your own kids. Your mommy was absent when you were she just a little baby. And if she saw you now, she'd wish she were a childless cat lady. Ouch. Racist landlord dead. That was a. Dead to kill him that was a. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. That was uh, to uh, Taylor Swift. The yeah. childless cat lady. Yeah. Was her pose. Sorry. Red free in your head. Well, I know how you failed the bar exam after that. I guess the half of you's job it is to rap isn't black. Oh, good one. You catch up smelling edge lord. You rock the beat softer than Stormy Daniels' head boy. Ow. I can't believe I'm even in a race with this hog. Hope you're in makeup in oh. Ohio. Cause there hey, Nick. Sorry, we were, we were going to get through this. And uh, if you, I was going to say, if you want to take a little bit of a smoke. Okay, yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> we'll be just we'll be just a minute. Uh, Nick has conscientiously objected to uh, taking part in this. He said nope. <laughs> yeah, he noped the fuck out of here. He literally. <laughs> he left his monster behind. Yes. He <laughs> he he marked his spot. He's like, this is where I'm sitting, but not right now. <laughs> I yeah, understand, we, dude. We get it. I understand. I know. Yeah. Me too. Me three. Eating the dog. Donald, I'm putting you away like a rapist back in Cali. You should leave this battle. And the weed. Like the oh, and the weed smokers. Let's not forget about that, Harris. Wow, you put more right. people in jail than anyone else. Yes. Well, I've got Taylor Swift. You're Good on you. You are ugly. Well, you're, a you're both ugly. Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. No one wants to fight about politics this much. You. Straight to chapter 11. Ouch! Bankrupt. True. Okay, here's the thing. I love Teddy. <laughs> I do too. Teddy Roosevelt, like, okay. If He's I had... one of my favorites. Yeah, Teddy president. Roosevelt's a good president. Yeah. Dude got shot on stage, like shot in the chest uh, during a speech. He got treated, came back up on stage, and finished the speech before going to the hospital. Jesus, man. Yeah. That's, mm, that's a tough son of a bitch. Also, he would regularly challenge heads of state to boxing matches. Also, Robin Williams did a fabulous job playing oh, him in... Oh, in the Night at the Museum. Yes. Yeah, the, oh gosh, he was great in that. Yes. Uh, but... <laughs> okay, who won the battle? Teddy. Uh, Teddy. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy, Rose, Teddy Bros about won the... Right, <laughs> Can won we the, have won, you back, please? Yes, please. Yeah, we need someone to like... We need you. We need someone to give, give Putin a right cross straight to the jaw. Yeah, and give Zelensky like a, a, a chop to the top of the noggin. Yeah. Christ. Anyway, um, but let's uh, see what else they got. Who's next? Yeah. Directed by Joe Biden. Oh my God. <laughs> come on, <laughs> Pete. Come on, Peter. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. L L come, Lloyd, come on, that was you again. Uh, 
I'll say one thing. Both performances were great. She gave off the vibe of Kamala Harris big time. And Lloyd, uh, again. She uh forgot to cackle like a hyena, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, she I also like forgot it. to say that she was from a middle class family. Yeah, and for she, the they, they forgot to include like the fact that she has those earpieces that... Yeah. Yeah, the in ear monitors. And all that stuff. Yeah, the inner monitors and shit. Yeah. They're literally <laughs> telling her what to say. Well, yeah. I mean, answer me this. How many interviews has she done where it's not been heavily edited to where they... Literally on 60 Minutes, she gave an answer that was just so mind-bogglingly dumb that they edited it and made it to where instead of her saying what she said, they made it look like she said just like a regular generic answer. What? I'm not joking. Uh, like it, you'd be surprised how often they ed like it's in contracts. They ed they're allowed to edit you and not be sued for defamation or misrepresentation. Mm. It's insane. Bitches. Organization. Well, you had. Sorry. It's okay. Well, you had Jack and Dick, and now you got Harry. I was gonna say you missed a prime opportunity here to have it Jefferson, Nixon, and Truman, because then you'd have Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> missed a prime opportunity there, ERB. Unless you're gonna bring Tom in here in a minute. Check that out. It's the best deal of the year. Guaranteed. Yeah, I I gotta say, uh, I I like that. I like that news, like brand of news dealings instead of uh instead of the other what we normally get. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. Ground news. I'll definitely have to check that out. So yeah, um, ERB, uh, in terms of how I personally feel, Teddy Roosevelt won. Yeah. <laughs> but if I had to say who I think I had the best reactions to in terms of the rhymes, probably Trump. Because I think they, I think Trump just had better lines overall. Yeah. But again, him and Harris just went back and forth with like their dirty dealings and all that. Here's the thing, none, neither one of them are clean. Neither one of them are 100% are clean. And... I think that that's the most disturbing part of this is just, you know, when it comes to the presidency of the United States, this is the best we've got. This is the best we've got? Makes me depressed for, like, just where we are as a society, especially here in America, because it's just like, this is the best we got. This. Um... A multi, a multi-billion-dollar media, mo you know, real estate and media mogul, who is so disjointed and disconnected from reality in certain cases that it's just it's boggling that he's even able to have a legit conversation with anybody, and then a cackling hyena of a woman who basically just has no genuine scope or scale of anything that she's done. In fact, in spite of, and she says that she's a champion of the people, in spite of the fact that she's literally, during her two years as attorney general in California, put more people put more people in jail for like mi minuscule drug offenses than anyone else who served before her. And what did this administration? You know, she's part of this current administration. Yeah. What did they do for all those hurricane victims? Nothing. I, I, 
it just it's ugly it's just it's just ugly the the reckless spending that our government is we doing we literally look like a joke we are a joke in like, terms of our in terms of like how our government's being run like the people who in charge who are in charge have no accountability zero i agree here's the thing warren buffett i agree with him i think if these political candidates want to run for office again then they're not allowed to go over budget on like like on like for like the national spending for like national spending mm -hmm. if they go over budget they're not allowed to run for office again I, that that, makes like, sense. that to me makes perfect sense and i think that'll keep all of them both sides of the aisle in check. It's just like, oh, the right wants to do this. How much is it going to cost? Oh, we can't afford it. Sorry, ain't going to happen. Oh, the left wants to do this. Oh, can't afford it. Ain't going to happen because we aren't going to put the American people in debt because it's the American people who are funding this fucking shit to begin with. But yet no one wants to address that. No one. Jesus. Anyway, that's enough about this. We're going to end it here. So thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.